when I first started training, it definitely felt like it was going to be something that would help me out because I don't have any other job experience, so this is definitely a good start. This is new. I mean, I've been in customer service being a cashier and stuff, but it's completely different being on the phone and not being able to see the customer. I've got home computers and stuff like that that I've messed around with, but nothing as far as a job. I've done, I guess it's not call center work, working at a school, it's multi-phone lines, but it's, it's not really, it doesn't compare to call center work. I guess it's a lot different now that I've gone into this program. So coming in after we had explained the process and, and what to expect, we kind of got started with doing some um, interview. We do a virtual interview with them. Now we've moved on to the um, video part of it, of the training, so that they get some, some extra guidance and perspective moving forward. So I think it's a, it's a good process and they seem to be responding well. We'll get them into the workforce and you know, their platform is working on 21st century jobs. They kind of explain to you what you need to do and how you need to be a good customer service representative. It's, it's not too bad. I mean, it's, it's very informative. Some things I found very helpful is the uh, five forbidden phrases you never say to a customer. I took notes on that. And I like to read that before I start to work every day just to get it fresh in my mind. A lot of video watching, a lot of questions answered, uh, a lot of information put out. It's based on your own little ticker speed of how you want to go. Using this, um, these techniques that they're teaching us on here, I think it's, it's going to be a really great process and a really good thing to go through. We've taken some time after doing a couple of the sessions to meet as a group and discuss things. I think together we can um, try to move forward and be support to each other and get them to where they're confident and, and ready for this next step. It, it really makes me feel like I'm learning something. That's that's the most important part. If they get through training and they, uh, they meet a few basic requirements, they need to have a positive background check, some voice auditions, but for the most part, almost anyone that comes in will work really hard to make sure they succeed. They've been there. They've been the people that have been looking for jobs for the past six months to two years. They need work. They're not looking for a handout. They want to work to support their families. So this is a new opportunity for them and they're excited about that. I think it's going to help me learn better skills to do, um, to maybe succeed with a job. Um, overall, I think it'll be a great thing, a great program. I'm hoping to learn a lot from it. And I'm just expecting to learn what I need to in order to get a job. And if I wanted to, I could expand my horizons, which, which is what I really like about this is that I don't feel restricted. I feel like I could learn almost anything really.